nice and steady. So let's find our first starting note. Now that looks familiar. That looks like middle C to me. If, if, if you can't recognize it, then you go from your G. There's your G. Space, line, space, line. There's my G. Space, line, space, line. Put my thumb on the C. Okay? So here we go. Let's just do the right hand only, then we'll put it together. So here's the right hand. And you can see they're just going up. Line, space, line, space, line. Which means they're all right next to each other. So rest your fingers on the keys in a nice natural position. Not like this, not a claw, not like, well, however you can, but just rest your fingers on the keys. Your muscles will develop eventually. So put your thumb here and press your thumb down. Feel one higher and press. Feel one higher, press. Feel one higher, press. Feel one higher, press. Two, three, and I do it again. Just a repeat. See, it looks the same, it is the same. Fa higher, 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 higher. Two, three. Now I'm going down one. I'm going lower one. Higher one. Lower one, two. I'm going higher, line space, line space. And lower one, higher one, lower one, two, line space. Okay? So let's try that again. Thumb on C. And feel higher, feel higher, feel higher, feel higher. Two, three, and repeat that. Feel higher, feel higher, feel higher, feel higher. Two, three. Feel one lower, one lower, one higher. Feel two lower, one, two. Two, three. Back up, line space two higher. And lower, higher, and lower, two. Now, if I look at my left hand, it looks like an ostinato, doesn't it? Because it's the same thing over and over again. And there's our F and F clef, F clef, F clef. There's our F. And this is one note above the F. Oh, there it is again. That note there. So let's play this hand. Let's put a second finger on there, whatever finger you want. Here we go. So it's going to be one, two, because the white ones with the stem are worth two. We're counting four in each measure. One, two, three, four. Measure. One, two, three, four measure, bar line, here we go, and one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, da, 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 of course it's the same thing all the way through, so now let's try putting them together, you just have to remember to play the same note every other, every third, every first and third count, okay, so let's start, here we go, thumb, my right hand thumb on C, my left hand, one above F, here we go. And, I'll, I'm gonna use my thumb so I can point. Here we go, and. Feel higher, feel higher, play again. Feel higher, feel higher, play again. Left plays alone. And, back down here, and thumb here. Higher, 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 and higher. Same. Here, I'm going down to here one note. This stays the same. Lower one, same. Higher one, lower one, two. Same here. Same. Up line space. Lower one, higher one, lower one, two. And same left. So really, all you have to do is watch this hand because this hand repeats over and over again. So you train yourself instead of looking, you're going to watch linear instead of horizontally. But you can do both, whichever is easiest for you. But once you get the idea of it, you just know you're going to you just look here and you see where you lift your hand and play it. So I'm mainly looking at this and playing on those beats there. So here we go. Try it again. Thumb here. Second thing, you're here. And feel ahead. Feel ahead. And here and here. Feel, feel, feel higher, feel higher. Next line. Feel one lower. Feel one lower. One higher. Two lower. Feel 
two higher, one, two, one lower, one higher, one, two lower. Now we'll do the second part. So let's start, here we go. Thumb, my right hand thumb on C, my left hand, one above F, here we go. And I'll, I'm going to use my thumb so I can point. Here we go. And feel higher, feel higher, play again. Feel higher, feel higher, play again. Left plays alone. And back down here and thumb here. Higher, 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 and higher. Same. Here, I'm going down to here one note. This stays the same. Lower one, same. Higher one, lower one, two. Same here. Same. Up, line space. Lower one, higher one, lower one, two. And same left. So really, all you have to do is watch this hand because this hand repeats over and over again. So you train yourself instead of looking, you're going to watch linear instead of horizontally. But you can do both, whichever is easiest for you. But once you get the idea of it, you just know you're going to you just look here and just see where you lift your hand and play it. So I'm mainly looking at this and playing on those beats there. So here we go. Try it again. Thumb here, second finger here, and feel ahead. Feel ahead, and here and here, feel, feel, feel higher, feel higher, next line, feel one lower, feel one lower, one higher, two lower, feel two higher, one, two, one lower, one higher, one, two lower. And of course, just like most music, it's two eight measure phrases, one antecedent and consequential phrase, one ends on the dominant, and then the other ends on the tonic. You don't know, have to know any of that. But this is, so it's the same thing, but this time it's, ooh, it's the left hand this time. Okay, so now, ho ho, now the left hand moves and the right hand is the same, 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 the same note one above F that it was in the left hand. We reversed, so instead of now we're going to go, instead of, we're going to go, so it's reverse. So, let's do the right hand. There's G. Easy, it's peasy, right there, G, and. Like somebody driving a nail. Space line. Okay, that's pretty easy. So we know key. Uh, your pinky is one of your weaker fingers. You don't use much. It's a very um, unused muscle. So what you want to do here is you want to play it on the side of your pinky. Just use the weight of your hand to push it down. Otherwise, you're like this, and it will hurt your arm very badly if you have to push it down. It'll get the muscle cramp right up in your arm. So just lay it on the side and just let it go. The weight of your hand pushing it down. Because when we do eventually play, we don't go, we could, but that will hurt your muscles. So this is the natural way of playing. Almost on the side of your fingers rather than on the, like a claw, like the classical method, okay? so. And now the left hand, let's find the left hand. This is mainly to do this is to get your uh, muscles in both hands equal. If you're right-handed, your muscles in this hand are much stronger than the ones in your left hand. So let's find the left hand lower bass note. There's F, space, line, space. There's F on that line, space, line, space. That's three below F. There's F, space, line, space. Okay, and we're going to put our fifth finger there, our pinky right there. We're going to put our pinky up here too. We'll put our pinky there. Okay, pinky, pinky. Okay, so now we're going to put my pinky three below F. F, space, line, space. F, space, line, space. Okay, put my pinky. I find my note. Put my pinky on it, and here we're going to play it. 
Here we go, and. and I can put my weight right over my finger on it, right? It. I'm not gonna strain myself and hurt my hand. Okay, I'm not gonna hurt my hand like that. I'm gonna put the weight of my hand over it. Okay? And. Feel that one? Climb up. Feel this one, climb up. Feel this one, climb up. Like a spider, climb up to this one. And then we're gonna go back, that looks the same. That's our C, our low C. And back down, back down to the bottom. Crawl up, crawl up. Feel up one, feel up one. You're here, feel lower one. Feel lower one, feel higher one. Feel lower, space line, space line. Now we're here, we're gonna feel up. Space, line, space. And now we're gonna feel down, line, space, line, space. Back to our C, and our C again. Okay, now let's play it again. So, this is our C3. So we can actually put in there C3. And that way we can look at it at the keyboard and say, oh, there's two blacks of C, two blacks is C. This is C4, this is C3. And so we can just see the, where the C is by the two blacks and the C. So let's try playing this left hand again. Here we go. And crawl up, crawl up, feel it. Feel it, crawl up, crawl up, feel it. While you're sitting there, you're going to feel back down to the pinky again. I'm feeling that pinky again, right down there, and I'm going to crawl up one, crawl up one, crawl up one, crawl up one. While I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm looking ahead, feeling this one, so I know when to get to play it. I'm feeling this one ahead, because I'm going one lower. I'm feeling this one ahead, I'm going one higher. I'm feeling this one space lower. Space, line. I'm sitting here feeling space, line, space. While I'm sitting here, I'm feeling line, space, line, right to the bottom, C again. And the same C again. Now we're gonna put these two together, these, these hands, here we go. So, we know this is C, C3, there's C4, two black notes, C, okay? And we know that's G because of the G clef. And so we're going to start like this, and we're playing together. Crawling up the bottom, left hand crawls up, crawls up, and the right hand hits with it again. Crawl up the bottom, crawl up the lower hand, left hand, hit them together. Same, same, and back down to the C bottom. Crawl up, feel up, feel up, and hit the same. Crawl up, feel this up, crawl, feel up one, crawl, feel up one, and same, and same. Feel lower one, feel lower one, same on the top. Feel lower one, and same on the top. Feel higher one, feel lower one, two. Feel up space, line, space. Feel down to the bottom, C, and play with the top. Now this goes down space lines. So together it would sound like 